three possible contenders for Prime Minister. Who would you prefer to face? Well, Laura, forgive me if I don't spend too much of my time in this interview um, on the ridiculous, chaotic circus that is going on at the top of the Tory party, because my focus is on the millions of people who are struggling to pay their bills, have now got additional anxieties about their mortgage. I know what it feels like not to be able to pay their bills. That happened to me and my family when I was growing up. They are fed up to the back teeth with this. Are you getting a bit complacent? Well, Laura, I reject that. Um, as you know, if you're in opposition, uh, it's very hard to get seen and heard. And the beam of the lighthouse only comes round so often onto the opposition. It came on to us in our conference. You were there. Mm -hmm. uh, we discussed it. It came on to the Labour Party, illuminated us. And what I think everybody saw was a Labour Party that has changed, mm -hmm. a Labour Party that is putting forward the answers to the challenges we face uh, as a country, and a Labour Party that has the confidence to govern. Now, I'm not complacent, uh, and I've already said to my shadow cabinet that complacency is the enemy. We have to fight for every single vote. Mm 